Spark Africa is always looking for new businesses and surprising initiatives. Today we report from Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. This time you're searching for a new song. Music plays an important role in the lives of young Kenyans. Instead of traditional music, a new generation of artists are producing a popular, refreshing sound. And the force behind them is Peña Records. It looks like a small revolution is emerging. Peña is the record label that promotes innovative music from Kenyans. Peña is looking for talent in all types of sound, from acoustics to electro. The Kenyan producer Robert Waweshki Boy and Dutch Nick Nauta started their label a year and a half ago. Both Wawesh and I felt like there's so much talent here, there's so much that Kenya can give um, and show the rest of the world in terms of music. I would describe Peña Africa as uh, one of the uh, leading uh, music houses in Kenya and uh, we work as an incubator. We are an incubator of talent. Sauti Sol and Modoni are big names at Peña. They are huge hits on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and MySpace. Thousands of fans are attending their concerts. The record label is largely accountable Best for their success. Peña Africa offers uh, things that other record labels in Kenya don't offer. It's a nice place. You, don't, you have freedom. As an artist, you have freedom. You know, most record labels, when you get signed into some record labels, they dictate what you want to do, what you have to do. I think they have the right vision. I feel that they understand uh, the idea of, of creating music that uh, redefines a society. Madonna's music is quite unique. It's different. I love the fact that she's very soulful, powerful in her music. Saudi Soul sings uh, mostly about love life and uh, um, things like um, corruption. It is clear that the popularity of the Peña crew is huge by the record store Silverbird. The four out of five of the best sold albums are on the label. Della, Modoni, Just a Band and Saudi Soul who are number one. At these stores the band sells five copies a day of their debut album Mwanzo and that is a lot for Kenyan artists. People do not believe that these guys are Kenyan. For example, like just a band. We play the music and people are like, no, Kenyans can't do this, can't do all this techno stuff. Promoting this type of music is not always easy, especially in the international market. Very often, Nauta and Wawesh need to explain that this doesn't belong to the world music section. Saudi Soul, Stan and Della have already been on a European tour. And this year again, they will also go to Amsterdam. For people outside, I mean, a lot of people are interested in what's happening in East Africa, what's happening in Kenya. If your music is not understood by your neighbor, maybe someone in town or in Tokyo is the right audience. And that's how I would like to see many more Kenyans think. A year ago, nobody knew about us and nobody knew about Saudi Soul. And in one year time, we really managed to create like a buzz. When someone else from Europe listens to us guys, it's like, ah, that's Kenyan music, yeah? Just because I'm an African with black skin, it doesn't mean that I won't win if I try. 